Welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to use the HLOOKUP function to look up a value in a horizontally oriented list. If you've worked with the VLOOKUP function, the HLOOKUP function is exactly the same. The only difference is the lookup works in a horizontal direction as opposed to a vertical direction. And you can see here, I've got a table with a list of my shipping rates. I've got four regions here and four different shipping rates for each one of those regions. And what I want to do is I want to look up the proper shipping rate based upon the value here in column C and return that. So I want to match the value in column C to the first row in my lookup table and I want to return the second row in my lookup table. So let's go ahead and click on cell D2 and I'm going to type in equals H lookup parentheses. Now again, the first value you enter in is the value you wish to look up. So I'll go ahead and click that cell right there, cell C2. And then I'm going to type a comma. And the next thing we enter in is the lookup table. Now the first row in the lookup table has to be the row that you're comparing the lookup value to. In this case, I'm looking up the region. So the first row needs to be row 10. So I selected B10 to E11. Again, the first row will be the row it looks up the value in. When it finds a matching value, in this case the value would be north, I want it to return the second row inside of my lookup table. You know, I could have different values here depending on what uh, I'm exactly doing in my table. So I could have it return the value in the third row of the table, the fifth row of the table, the 20th row of the table. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my parentheses. And I'm actually going to go ahead and highlight these values here and press F4 on my keyboard to make them absolute values. That way I can autofill the value down. So I'll go ahead and hit enter and you'll see that it looked up west and found a shipping rate of 3%. And I go over here to west and it's returning the value 3%. I'll go ahead and autofill that down and there I have the different shipping rates looked up based on this table here. You can see if I change a value, for instance I'm going to change 5% here to 10%, my orders table adjusts accordingly and all the calculations recalculate. So that's a simple example of how to use the HLOOKUP function. And again, it's exactly the same as the VLOOKUP function, so if you've worked with that and uh, know how to work with the MATCH and the INDEX function or with other functions, uh, those will work equally as well with uh, HLOOKUP as they will with VLOOKUP. If you'd like to download this exercise or see more tutorials on the Excel lookup functions, go ahead and visit our website at www.learnexcelfunctions.com. That was www.learnexcelfunctions.com.